All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and um, what should I call it? Starting a uh, starting a little late today. In fact, I completely forgot to check uh, to make sure uh, that I refresh all the Bitcoin stuff so it doesn't actually show my IP again. Then I would have to actually re-edit the video. So uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, things are settling down a little more. So that's good. Um, all right, there we go. So uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, I was doing my morning maintenance stuff. I didn't get my package from Amazon. And uh, funny enough, that actually makes me very angry. So I'm like, okay, I gotta be aware that's probably not good, right? Especially for something technically as stupid as that. But it's like, you know, I spent a lot of money and then they like, I don't know why, but the post office completely screwed up my order. So it just says it's available for pickup instead of being delivered. And doesn't even, I have no slip. I have no idea where it is. And I can't call because, you know, it takes forever. So obviously I'm trying to do some re-delivery. And then like, you know, re-delivery has never worked for me. Every single time I've done it, they haven't even bothered with it. So I just wound up just buying another order of it on Amazon. Just one quantity because it was on lightning sale or something. And then uh, I'm probably just gonna have to return this package if like re-delivery keeps failing, which I assume it probably will. So that whole thing just makes me like angry, but I can feel it. I'm like, it's like technically I'm not supposed to be suppressing it, but I'm like trying to like, okay, let's try not to be angry. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So just as I think about that, like I'm listening to Jesse Lee Peterson, right? You know, he went over how one guy used to be a hater and then realized he was right and then changed himself. Um, I, uh, and then I think he also went on to like forgive his mom and dad. And he said uh, he his life changed. Or maybe I'm conflating that with another black person that happened to be in jail and was a felon and was like always told that you know it's hard to get a job when you get out of jail. And then turned out like that's actually bullshit, right? He and a bunch of other blacks and uh, like Hispanics were also like convicted of murder or something. Uh, somehow they got jobs and then like they're reformed. <laughs> so. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, yeah. So he said, like, it's. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That might be an exaggeration. Convicted of murder. Like, I don't see how you can get out because, like, maybe he meant manslaughter. That would be different because usually murderers are not released unless it's under the uh, uh, the Trump uh, first step plan or whatever the hell it's stupid Jared Kushner's bill, right? And then a lot of those people that you know were murderers actually went out and started killing people. So <laughs> it's like. Come on, man. But anyway, uh, then, then I got up to here, and then I really want to play my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes because we've got, my God, everyone just keeps dying. And every time it dies, I had it set so that, like, it stops doing auto battle. So it's like, it, it just keeps doing that. All right. So anyway, um, yeah, so speaking of anger, like, you know, uh, that, then I'm, like, trying to, like, oh, that other people that I don't like, you know, because they lie, and then I get uh, uh, mad. It's like, okay, yeah. Like, it's clearly obvious that I'm not going to become the man I was meant to be, or at least, you know, do that final step until I forgive my mom and dad. And right now, things are not bad with my mom and dad, but they don't know yet, so but that's because I'm still trying to figure out what do I say, right? So, you know, I got to work out enough issues, I'll have plenty of time. Plus, I'll tell you, this is a stupid coronavirus shit. And apparently, we have an actual confirmed case right here in New York State or something, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's... Uh... Uh, and actually, my uh, one of my family members' co-workers, uh, her, her, the co-worker is a woman, so I think, no, or a friend or something, and one of the husbands is actually stuck in Japan. We haven't heard, from, they haven't heard from him, so, because uh, of the whole coronavirus thing, so it's, uh, it's getting kind of nutty out there. Uh, but anyway, speaking of anger, um, figure... I figure, you know, I'm thinking, well, I'm getting angry about stupid stuff, and then I look at something like this, and it's pretty bad, too. This is also why, uh, this is also why I'm moving to, like, a kind of, like, more conservative area, but not so conservative, because this is basically what happens, right? Because conservatives tend to be passive-aggressive, and then when bad stuff happens, it just boils out into something like this. Um, and on top of that, conservative areas also tend to be very uh, pro-free speech, or at least for the time being. So the problem with that is people ex uh, abuse that free speech and just use it to call each other like racist stuff. <laughs> so um, uh, that's actually evil, right? Uh, as 
Jesse Lee Peterson says, there's no such thing as racism, but just judging people uh, like this is uh, evil. So if it's evil, why not just make it illegal, right? So you can begin to see how uh, so-called ideology begins to um, uh, conflict with each other, right? That's why, in your, that's why, that's a re that's a big reason why like liberals are actually able to take away free speech because they actually do have a uh, reason to stop stuff like this because this could easily have gone in become a fight, a fist fight, or a gun fight, you know. Um, and uh, you could just simply prevent it by just having a law that just says, when you're out in public, you can't say racist stuff to each other, right? Otherwise, you get arrested. Because that's how we actually solve racial tensions here in New York City. We just simply ban the whole thing, right? So in this case, everybody here, like the, the white guy would have been uh, arrested, and then I guess the Dunkin' Donuts black girl here uh, would have gotten arrested too or something like that. They both would have just been arrested. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, you see the white women are like, oh man. Okay, go ahead. 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 Oh my god. Let me do I remember when I was a kid, I was like my parents had just bought the house in Brooklyn. Uh and I went to the Nathan's I was right next door. It was like these two angry, like uh like poor looking white people and they were just like just cursing at me for no reason just for approaching the door <laughs> so i always kind of sometimes think about that when i see stuff like this so uh yeah see that's what happens when your life is ruled by anger and then it metastasizes into like you know well everyone's out to get me because they are and then like yeah it's like <laughs> you know if i were him right like what i would have done was you know, at the very least, if I was going to do something like this, because what was this video made? November 8th, 2018. So yeah, the Groyper Uprising didn't even close to exist yet. So this guy would have no legitimate outlet for airing his grievances. I would at least have just started recording everybody and then just start saying, well, here's the list of all the crimes black people has committed against white people. Do you, do you, you're acting exactly like these people, you know, something a little more intelligent before launching into his uh, tirade. At least that way he can get it. But uh, unfortunately, this guy is overcome with anger and like he doesn't have the IQ necessary to uh, uh, do the smart thing, right? Uh, whether it's because he was just overcome with anger and his IQ is temporarily, lo temporarily lowered because of emotional, uh, well, in this case, I guess, uh, low impulse control. Or he just simply doesn't have the IQ, period. So, uh, poor guy. Poor guy. And poor girl, too. But, yeah, under, uh, under those hate speech laws we have in New York City, they both would be in jail. Uh, so you got to keep the peace somehow, right? Uh, so that's why you want to have your free speech. You got to, you know, use it responsibly, just like having gun, so-called gun rights, right? Well, are you using it responsibly or are you using the law to buy a bunch of guns and then just go out and mass murder people? Right. You know, luckily, most people don't do that. So that's why we still have guns. But like, I bet you if it happened every single day, we had like, say, Dayton, Ohio or the El Paso style shootings every day. I can 100 percent guarantee you we would not have gun rights anymore. Um, so thank God that does not happen. But stuff like this apparently does happen a lot. That's why a lot of people are more accepting of restrictions on free speech, because you see shit like this. All right. Because. Look what happened at the towards the end. The person recording him didn't even do anything. It was just recording, right? Look how angry he got. He gets just from something that simple. So you know he easily could have gotten into a like a violent downward spiral. So uh, yeah. So that's another reason why I'm not going to Texas either, because like I just don't want to deal with shit like this. But the problem is that's why they're being cursed with illegals and lo and being flooded with liberals is to is probably because of racial tensions too. So it's uh, karma at work, right? Because people can't control themselves, right? They just decide to do shit like this, right?
both he and the black girl are just both wrong for doing what they're doing. So, yeah. And yes, I could show on YouTube because it was already on YouTube. And on Tyler, it's, all, it's mostly censored, so it should be safe. So anyway, um, yeah, so aside from that, anger is bad. Don't do it. I know I shouldn't be doing it, right? I'm aware of it. But I, I think I won't be able to fully purge myself of, e uh, of the evil and anger until I forgive my mom and dad and let them know, right? Because now I realize, you know, at least I'm lucky enough to have my mom and dad still alive. But what about situations where, like, they're, one of them is not alive? At first, I thought that was easier because then you don't have to go up to anybody. But then I'm like, mm, I don't know. But then, like, you're supposed to confront your fear. That's also part of the thing, too. I don't have a fear of it at all, right? Because... Well, because I can't speak Chinese, so I'm going to be using my Google Translate and hope that the English to Mandarin kind of works, and then I'll have to trust my dad enough that he could kind of translate what I'm telling my mom. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to have to watch my mom's reaction. Now, now I know why God gave me the gift of being able to body language read people, right? Because now I have to use that to like make sure my mom gets the message correctly, and my dad doesn't screw up the words and just says something that I didn't mean to, and then like she starts flipping out. I'm like, Dad, what did you tell her? Like, I didn't say anything like that. And like, ah, but <laughs> it's just, trust me, when you, <clears throat> all of you say, well, oh, my, my, uh, so and so is crazy. Yeah, wait till you meet my parents, all right? You know, so, uh, yeah. Well, my parents are good people. They're just kind of crazy. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for last week is at 11, so it looks like that's what Google's finalizing it at. But of course, they modified previous data. But I mean, at this point, we don't really care. We just look at the chart pattern for it. Is it up or is it down? Is it flatlining? There's no data for this week, obviously, because it's Monday. So we won't get that data for a couple days. Uh, Bitcoin DOS is at 63.8%. 24-hour volume has gone back up to a normal 160, 159 billion. So Bitcoin's up a little bit, 88.13. So it looks like the flatlining phase is starting to, you know, at least things are starting to recover. You know, people are starting to wrap their head around coronavirus and all this other doomsday stuff. Uh, and they're buying, just like I've been buying. In fact, as, as soon as I like, as soon as I remember, because I had the window open, right? I went to my stock brokerage account, my Chrome, right? 9.30 a.m., markets were open right here in New York City. <clears throat> Bought two extra shares of MM, MRRL. So, you know, I'm buying, buying, buying. $60.37 for Litecoin. Uh, so it looks like everything's like flatlining, but flatlining a little bit upwards, right? I, don't, I still don't think we're out of the woods just yet, but I think uh, people are, you know, starting to take a more rational approach, but it's still a little murky, but so far so good. Dog coins at 289.1 million market cap. Um, where is Steam? Uh, Steam is up to 17.67 cents. Damn, it's down 4.38 cents. So today would it... Oh, actually, wait. I'm not damn. I actually did not buy yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't buy Steam because I was like, I want Litecoin to go up and Steam to go down because it, it's, it's disjointed. Because I think we remember from yesterday, two days ago, right? Steam was up like 13.67%. And Litecoin was down like 6%. Actually, yeah. So this is down 4.3. Well, well, it's Litecoin up. 3.3 so there's still like a 9% gap but actually yeah this looks pretty good I think I might actually want to buy some steam today then even though I think it might still go down this is still a pretty good cheap buying opportunity because like I said I want to be buying I know those people have been uh well I mean let me see let me check YouTube yeah YouTube is fine but for whatever reason people are just leaving bit you um in fact I'll, I lost two or three people because of this Mindy Robinson thing so yeah um yeah, it's like, yeah, simps are really bad, uh, but, oh well, whatever, like, like it, it's, I just didn't realize just how much people don't like hearing the truth, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm trying not to be judgmental and annoyed, right, but it's like, that's not good, that's a terrible way to live, like, uh, if a doctor tells you you have cancer, you've got the three doctors and they all say you have cancer, you can't just be like, I don't have cancer, I don't care how many degrees you have. <laughs> it's like, I know it sucks, but you gotta deal with the truth. And most truths are not like terminal cancer, all right? So you can deal with it. But like, again, humans are like so low IQ, low impulse control, and just wicked, right? And it's just like, we just don't want to listen to it, all right? We'd rather be with Satan and just believe the lie. 
and that's just evil. That's just evil. Uh, you know, don't, like that, and you can't you can't give in to that, right? Because your life will not improve, right? It just won't. So anyway, uh, let's see. Markets are up three twenty five for the Dow. Yeah, so everything so everything's already bouncing up. Let's actually take a look over here. What's uh, anything particular? Uh, so this guy looks like he was shorting the market, and he's he's getting killed now on the on the bounce back up or the dead cat bounce. Again, this is why you don't trade, right? Because you're gonna wind up like this poor fool. Uh, in fact, I may consider this a. Actually, we could probably close this out. I think we might consider this the thumbnail. Uh, market volatility is good. Wendy's breakfast sandwich. Is, oh my god. Uh, God, this is why I wish there was a Wendy's right next right next door to me. And uh, sweet, what did he have? Uh, it's obviously the big story. Wait a minute, this is where's the picture of it? Uh, he's got kind of big ears. Where is the picture of it? Is it just this? No, that's not it. Uh, Wendy's is so good. They actually use real food too. It's actually cheap, so I don't know how they do it, but. But yeah, it's superior to Burger King, superior to McDonald's. I just wish that when, actually, Wendy's stock, are they publicly traded? Uh, they have a dividend yield of 2.54. They have a market cap of 4.21 billion. Okay, very, very interesting. Uh, tell me for five years. Wow, you've been going up. Wow, you've doubled, uh, yeah, you've been, you've been making a lot of money. Uh, well, there's the dot com or there's the real estate boom. So even the real estate boom of was affecting Wendy's stock, which I guess technically makes sense because the way a franchise works is you actually are paying uh, for the land underneath the franchise. So that's how that's how these franchises work. It's actually a pretty brilliant uh, business system that uh, Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, originally created, or at least he was the most famous example of this. You can read more about that if you read Robert Kiyosaki books. Um, even though I don't actually, I'm not an actual fan of him anymore personally, because like he's like he's got like a lot of anger issues too. But I mean, he's been through a lot, plus he's from the boomer age, so yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Plus he doesn't have kids with his, uh, you know, hot white wife, so it's like, come on, you're not gonna have kids? Like if I were rich, I, it would be my duty to have kids, all right? Because then what was the point of having all that fame and money if I'm not going to have kids, all right? Then who am I going to pass it on to? Yeah, it's like, you know, like, just have an empire, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, so it's actually recovering. Wow. Uh, Dublin, Ohio is his headquarters. Well, I don't want to move to Ohio, so I think we'll pass. What is this? I really want to know what this breakfast... That breakfast sandwich looks so good. They even have, like, distinct bread for it. Oh, my God. Now now I want Burger King. Uh, but no, like, I already stocked up... No, I'm trying to have to... God damn it. That's what happens. All right, so anyway, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Wait, what? Steve Cohen snaps up three high-end dividend stocks. Uh, markets recessions, um, dividend stocks are, what? Steve Cohen. Okay, here we go. The billionaire trader behind Point72 has a man showing he could survive the vicissitudes of Wall Street. Yeah, because he's not retarded. He went back into the trading business and built, built, uh, to a $19 billion giant. Um, and fourth quarter more heavily moved into high yield dividend stocks. All right, so he is the energy center of model he used to be. Most companies engaged in web product are highly compartmentalized. They're also vulnerable in fracking, which is why I'm kind of surprised not mentioning it. Uh, let's see, what is H? Okay, HP drills wells. HP ended quarter one with 335 million. Uh, okay, Dave Anderson's story continues. All right, so I don't want energy stocks. Uh, David Anderson, Barclays, Point Australia, and Companies International a year ago. Oh, they're still doing. Oh, okay. This is what I'm looking for. Um, wow, well, forty-five dollars, and the yield is two dollars, and it's like five percent. Okay, how about Chevron? Chevron's okay because they're just a gas station. They could be more adaptable. 
132. Okay, you know what? What am I doing? Why don't I just click this? CVX. Uh, okay. Where is the dividend yield? That's, that's all I care about. Um, yeah, it's just stupid price predictions. Oh, here it is. All right, it's got a dividend yield of 5.5%. That's actually pretty good for a blue chip stock. And then we've got PPL Electricity Utility Company. That's actually the best because everyone needs electricity and they can, uh, and they're required essentially to have all sorts of energy uh, sources. Uh, plus, they also tend to be a lot cheaper too, unless you're buying Con Edison. Um, PPL uh ppl okay so you know uh, ppl stock jeez i'm just gonna do this the easy way dividend yield 5.41 percent this is also pretty cheap they got a market cap of 23.56 billion all right i'm sold problem is it's really not enough i mean i guess if you really need a blue chip very stable stock with as much high yield as possible these were pretty good plus if a billionaire is going to be buying this stuff that's probably just fine and then just buy, and then uh, if you want more income, just do a covered call on it. Um, I, want, I need to go on. Uh, let's see, PPL. Actually, where are we at? Twenty one twenty five. Okay, PPL Corporation. I mean, this is also secondly an investing channel too, so that's why we can go into this. Forward dividend and yield. What does that mean? Oh, five point fifty three dollar sixty six. That's actually not bad. Uh, options chain, uh, March 20th. Oh, that's only in a few weeks, so we're not going to get the full accurate. So every month you can pump out uh, 55 to $60, $60 a month for every 100 shares of PPL. Uh, that's actually, yeah, shit. I mean, I have, yeah, because the thing is, I don't want to do cover calls on my Microsoft stock because I'm not even anywhere close to having my first 100 shares. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, let's say you made like, uh, this is, oh, this is the bid and ask. So let's say I charge 60. Yeah, I would definitely charge $60. So $60 times 12. Uh, so, okay. So let's do some math here. Web calc 2.0. 60. No, actually let's do the more complicated one. $1.66 times um oh shit how is this being measured because i've never heard uh is this per year yeah this has to be per year uh show me oh man i should i should actually know what the dividend yield is x dividend day no this has to be yeah, this has to be 166 every um, four months. So yeah, it should be a dollar sixty-six. Ah, jeez. PPL stock dividend. Oh my god, let me make sure. Uh, 28, 2019. Oh, okay. So it is per year. Yeah, that is actually pretty shitty. Uh, okay. Well, at least Google improved this. All right, so it really is $1.66 a year. Really? That's it? Yeah. So let's see. You get $60 times 12. Now, the problem is it's for every 100 shares. So you should divide this by 100 shares. So each share gives me $7.22. Yeah, already the covered calls on this is just so much better. <clears throat> so every year I can produce seven dollars and twenty cents plus maybe I should actually buy PPL. So with the dividend plus the covered call, if I do it every year, and remember this thing doesn't even have the full um, the full time period, uh, time premium period, correct? Because today is March second, so this could have easily have gone for more money. I get eight dollars and eighty six cents. Uh, so what do you divide this by? What's the price of this stock? Thirty dollars and sixty eight cents. 
divide it by thirty dollars and sixty-eight cents. Yeah, you get about a twenty-eight point eighty-seven percent return. That's actually pretty. That's actually pretty nuts. Now there is a caveat to this, of course. The strike price I was using was thirty-one dollars, so it would you would actually have a very high likelihood of hitting that. Hmm. I don't know, and, it's, and this is, and of course, I haven't been tracking the history, so you know, I uh, don't know about the volatility too. So, because like, let's say you bought at thirty-four, and now you're doing a covered call at thirty-one or thirty-two. If you're forced to sell at thirty-one or thirty-two, you're taking a two-dollar loss per share. So it's actually pretty risky. So that's actually why you don't want uh, your stock, your underlying stock, to go down too much in value. Uh, so yeah, uh, interesting, interesting. All right, anyway, uh, GMC coins at three to four. So, yeah, not too bad. There's been a lot of buying and selling, so at least this coin will uh, be very active. Uh, 404 coin has recovered to seven to eight, you know, because everything's gone down so much. So people are piling into 404, but I suspect when everything starts skyrocketing again, 404 is going to get hammered uh, once more. But we might get lucky, and then uh, that might not happen. Uh, so we'll see. Two by two coins at steady as well, 65, 67. It's gone back up a little bit too, because again, everything else has gone uh, quite down. So now people are just kind of just, you know, um, balancing their stuff. Compound coin as expected has gone down, but still pretty strong. Now it's at uh, a very strong buy uh, orders at 6,000 or 6,002 Satoshis of a dog coin. To 9,600 Satoshis of a dog coin. So, uh, yeah, might as well take advantage of this while you still can. And again, I kind of just don't really care about the news because pretty much it's uh, dumb singularity. The only reason why I'm clicking this is because it says the word IRS and dumb. So I want to see if they did anything. Uh, Bitcoin SV added a bit, blah, blah, blah. More scam. Uh, yeah, uh, Binance CEO says Craig Wright's a scammer too. So it's always been like that. Real reason. Um, Warren Buffett discussed Apple Bitcoin coronavirus person in an interview this week. Yeah, I kind of don't really care what he has to say. Uh, as long as he's not saying anything overly negative about Bitcoin or crypto, then I just don't care. Um, only one Bitcoin will soon be out of its reach. Uh, yes, and that doesn't matter because people will just buy all the other cryptocurrencies. There's plenty of other cheap alternatives too. That's actually why this may seem bad now, but you know these really cheap coins are going to be you know pretty uh, pretty lit, especially once I have the game out and everything's fully implemented. Uh, because yeah, the real money trading auction house really is is going to is going to basically make us like you know t millions of dollars. It'll essentially be like me running a trade brokerage firm. That's actually what it basically going to be, right? Because like the Steam marketplace, they actually make money off of your listing fee. And like a five or ten percent cut of like you know whatever you sell your thing for, so it's actually you know it's actually quite a bit. Now it's gonna be a little hard for me to figure out how to adapt it so that the items you know because I want everything to be unified, right? So regardless of where you play, you're all playing on the same servers. So like the Steam, so the Steam marketplace will be taking their real money uh, cut because uh, I'll get the money for real, I think, right? I don't know. I'll have to see how it actually works. Um, yeah, let's see. Steam Marketplace Developer Cut. Let me see. Uh, okay, new revenue agreement gives more money to... Do game devs get any money from the market? Uh, this is an old one. Uh, the complete fee is 55 the developer gets 10%. Uh, yeah, actually, that's fine because I ultimately want you, the pl video game player, to keep most of the money. Okay, so I will get ten percent of the real money transaction on Steam. That will get five. Perfect. This is. I can see why God is showing me this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So I want to see the updated version. All right. Um. Let's see, a chain of development gives more money than the number of units. Okay, so this is talking about just me selling the game directly, like if I charge like $20 for my game, but that doesn't apply because I'm not, uh, it's a free to play game. In 2017, Valve took in 4.3 billion Steam revenue alone, not even counting microtransaction downloadable content, which is actually gonna be worth a lot more money. 
Microtransactions are big, big money. Uh, in fact, it's the biggest money. That's why everyone's going into mobile, just like me. Though mine's going to be still PC and stuff, because I want everybody to just play wherever. But it's going to be uh, as mobile-friendly as I can, because I don't know if you can... St Certain modes you could probably play on mobile, but like... Uh, stuff like the, you know, 40 on 40 versus 40 battleground slash, you know, Titan Assault modes or, the, you know, it's not going to work. Um, the Battle Royale mode might work, but I'm definitely going to have to be pretty rich. I'm definitely going to have to have employees that really know networking to help me with that because um, that's going to be a big task. Uh, and, of course, it's going to be expensive to maintain those servers because you have, like, what, 40 to 60 people sending RPCs all over the place because it, it's exponential because like when one player you know sh fires their gun all the other players within like a certain range have to be able to see that too so they're all calling you know network commands for that single one action now multiply exponentially by like 10 players in the same zone shooting at each other shooting each other right that's 10 to like for one action, it's like 10 to the 10 power or something like that. It's like, it, it gets really crazy, right? Battle Royales are popular because you couldn't do Battle Royales in the past. The closest thing we kind of had to that was World of Warcraft, right? With their Battlegrounds mode. It's actually insane and impressive that Blizzard was able to actually implement something like that back in 2004 to 2005. Uh, it really is a miracle, right? It really is a miracle. Now I actually understand why these games, those AAA MMOs cost like $200 million to make. Crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, nice. So I will get 10%. So if people want to play on my game on Steam, I will get 10% of the real money transaction market. Plus, Steam is already an established market, too. So it's gonna. I got it. We're going to make so much money. Well, I'm going to make so much money. Um, yeah, I guess actually all of you are going to make a lot of money too because once we implement like 404 J, uh, 2x2 and JMC coin into the, like uh, as an additional payment kind of thing, yeah, we're just going to, yeah, everyone's going to get rich. So just remember, right? Don't be like these idiots that were unsubscribing to me, right? You know, they have no faith, right? In fact, I pro they got mad as soon as I did the Mindy Robinson Simpson video, so uh yeah uh satan and women and lust is their god and not jesus christ himself so or rather god himself so it's not good man not good do what you want but it's not it's not good that's not it. okay so i only care about the uh let's see okay on the um all right, I'm not reading this guy's article. Okay, maybe this thumbnail will help. Potential shift, safe haven, Bitcoin. Okay. IRS. At the end of 2019, IRS published a set of virtual coin guidelines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then we put out this horror point. Enough, a fellow, a fellow, already looked at it. Uh, yes, that's how right. That was really for public. Uh, they are trying to which the IRS claim parallels of the must report purchases of bucks. Stood my for any three months before was just just what they're charging. V bucks is not real money. It's Fortnite in-game currency. You can't report that. Uh, I don't pay because of taxpayer. I mean, unless maybe you can actually change the V bucks into fiat currency. Maybe that's what. But change the in order less than any computer transaction. Transaction virtual currency part of the game that do not leave the game environment. Virtual currencies that are not convertible will not require tax rate. Okay. Right, because it's not... See, IRS has been caught flat foot over and over every passing year that cryptocurrency has spread. They were slow enough to recognize... Da -da -da. Yeah, day back in the IRS also has been blindsided every turn for non-crypto gaming digital currency. An official angle complained that two is just a red flag. It's a canary in the corner. Um, okay. Yeah, so eventually they got it. Yeah, I mean, the IRS should only care when you take your money and convert it into uh, fiat cash. That's when the that's the IRS's domain. Uh, goes play your hands. The entire thing go is a legitimate source of income for so many. Uh, the less you biggest in Warcraft, you send a supply of chain actuary simulator Eve online to totally monetize monthly subscription cards and consumable in game item. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, well, that's the other thing too. Once we have the real money tra uh, trading auction thing, we're gonna have to start doing like you know um, tax forms for American people. Uh, 
I must, I guess if my game gets large enough, we'll also have to uh, do tax forms for like UK and whatever. But at that point, you know, I mean, we're probably gonna be making like tens, if not hundreds, of millions of dollars. So I don't have to worry about it. Uh, oh, so that does, so that does actually mean I'm gonna have to set up some sort of like foreign office or something. I don't want too many offices, so maybe I'll just set up in like. I don't know, what's a non-cucked country or area, right? I mean, it'll probably be Portugal, right? Portugal. Right, well, what was, what, I, I'm pretty sure it was Portugal. Uh, yes, Portugal. I mean, you can kind of see it. Yeah, this is a very cryptocurrency-friendly area, and it's basically in Europe, so perfect, perfect. And then from Portugal, they could probably fly all over to all over of Europe or whatever. Uh, and then eventually, I'll have to set up some sort of shop Probably in India, but the problem is I don't actually like that they actually have border guards that shoot up both the illegal invaders and like their own people who happen to live at the border. It's very evil. Like I get that we need to kick out illegals, but I, I actually am not very happy with um, sh uh, opening fire, especially if they're unarmed. That's just seriously bad karma. So uh, where else could I set up around the India region? Um... I don't know, Thailand actually might work. Where's, Th where's Thailand? Because this is about geography. Uh, South Korea could work too. Um, let's see. So there's Thailand and Bangkok. Oh. Uh, where's South Korea? There's the Philippines. There's Taiwan. There's Hong Kong. I really should know it. Where? Uh, yeah, we can have an office in Portugal, and then maybe I could set up an office in the Middle East, and then you'll have Thailand, right? God, I really don't want to do it. Well, Jordan, no, Jordan would be expensive. Yemen? No, I'm thinking of Dubai. Dubai could work. That would be over here. I don't know. I really don't want to deal with the Middle East. There's Vietnam. Where the hell is South Korea? Oh, wait, it's only, it's further up that way? Yeah, maybe I would actually, yes, I would set up in Thailand, right? It's Thailand to North Korea, South Korea. Yeah, it's basically like going from the mid the Midwest to like the West Coast or East Coast. So ping-wise, that's actually fine. So yeah, I would probably just set up in Thailand then. Thailand's just fine. And then I guess if like my uh, employees there are horny, they could just hire a local Thai, uh, Thailand prostitute or something. So uh, yeah. All right, so very good. Um, IRS, IRS, IRS. The gal points out three years. IRS is trying to guard clues from that self-reported. Uh, uh, going on out report. IRS lost his missed about game currencies. Um, uh, gal. Left him a message. He goes sift through a lot. That has un anyone writing a perfect definitely and can't seem to speak. Blah 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 blah. All right. So basically, it's just kind of just complaining about you know the IRS and game currencies or whatever. But uh, I already forgot the person's name. I did the Bitcoin video already a couple weeks ago. But uh, politicians are actually starting to pass more clearance, uh, clairvoyance, clarity. Clairvoyance could work too on like cryptocurrency laws. Especially the one that says uh, three years, you have three years for your cryptocurrency to become decentralized. So uh, that's the big one, right? Because then I don't have to deal with the stupid I, uh, SEC or whatever, because we're not publicly raising cash. So, uh, but everything's been flagged as that. So, all right. But either way, uh, the IRS should be still, uh, you know, uh, you know, catching up to crypto eventually, uh, especially since liberals actually like it. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Uh, smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. Let's try to grow this channel, all right? Because uh, anger is bad. You don't want to be like the guy that I showed at the beginning, where he's just spamming the N-word at the, I guess, kind of racist uh, black employee who was, you know, calling out the white guy for, you know, being white or racist. And then they just both had, uh, had at each other, right? It's, uh, you know, sometimes it can be funny to watch, but it's uh, it's ultimately just going to lead every, uh, all uh, all of you into doom and evil, and then just, uh, you know, uh, it, it's not a good idea. Um, central bankers say Bitcoin, crypto innovators are shaking up payments in the industry, tokenized your
Okay, so good. Just so central bankers are getting uh, getting in on it. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. All right, so we got the thumbnail over here. Um, maybe we can. Uh, nope. No. Oh, did I screw this up? Oh, I screwed it up, didn't I? Let me see. Let me refresh. Get a different one. No, they changed. They changed it. Ah, oh, that was such a good one. All right, fine. Um, this uh, this thing looks pretty cool. Oh, but I really like that picture. All right, well, I'll have to come out of the title. So anyway, enjoy your day or night. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Think about what I said. And then, uh, yeah, let's hope uh, this week goes better. So far, it looks like it is. Because uh, I think, I can't remember. Didn't it kind of recover? Yeah, it was negative. Yeah, it was down 1,100 on Friday. Then it recovered all the way back up to 300. And then today, it's actually up 600 uh, in terms of gap, right? Uh, as a oh now it's up 900 oh yeah everything's going back up all right well um let me see are you going up yeah all right so everyone's starting to buy up all right because everyone's getting the same idea i already told you see i'm already ahead of the curve i already been telling you i'm buying right last week i was buying and people were unsubscribing me because they were just trashing bitcoin now they're being left behind because they're retarded all right so uh don't be retarded all right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. And uh, yeah, uh, well, I mean, now it might be a little too late to buy, but at least cryptocurrency is still pretty cheap. So just just start buying dollar cost average uh, down and up. Don't go all in. Unless you're absolutely sure that you don't mind that things might, you know, drop 50%, right? So anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. No, we haven't updated the page views on this in a long time. Yeah, didn't really matter. 404 coins getting a lot more views though, at least. And uh, that's a nice thumbnail.